As I said, this is the third of our triangles, the orthocenter. This is going to get confusing as we start looking at all four of these centers. So even if you just talk about the two that we've looked at already, the centroid and the circumcenter, number one, understanding the definition, but number two, being able to find them becomes very complicated. Notice, for instance, that both require a midpoint. The question is then, what do you do with that midpoint? The centroid, you connect the midpoint to the vertex, you calculate that slope. The circumcenter, you have to do a perpendicular bisector. Okay. Things get a little bit crazier with the orthocenter. So let me give you a definition of the orthocenter first. It is a point of intersection between the altitudes in a triangle, and we can go through the same game we did on Thursday, where I could say what's wrong with that definition, but by now you should already recognize that you don't know what an altitude is. Therefore, an altitude is defined as A line from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side, which ver looks very similar to a median, where a median was a line from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now we're not doing midpoints, we're doing perpendicular. Okay, for those of you that are visual learners, let me do a quick sketch here and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I want to go from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. So it would look something like this. If we can make it look a little bit more professional here, I would do something like that. There is nothing special about that point. In fact, we're never going to find that point. Well, I shouldn't say never. We will seldomly, if ever, find that point. Questions so far? When you find all three of those altitudes, the point of intersection becomes what's called the orthocenter. Okay, so let me go over here and show you this. So there are the perpendicular lines. And it gets confusing. So centroids went through the vertex but hit the midpoints. Perpendicular bisectors hit the midpoints but didn't go through the vertex. Now with orthocenters, they hit the vertex and are perpendicular to the other side but don't touch the midpoints. And it's similar to what we did before. If I grab this and drag it around, you can see whoops, that the orthocenter can be inside the triangle, it can be on the triangle, or it can be outside the triangle. And we'll delve into that a little bit more later on. More importantly, however, is keeping track of this scenario. Okay, so here's a triangle. I'm gonna talk all about the vertex A. If I want to create a median from A, I need to know the definition. Well, the median goes from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So I get something that looks like that red segment. Okay, That's a median. It's not perpendicular. It does pass through the vertex. If I construct the perpendicular bisector, which we need for the circumcenter, I get the green thing. It's not through the vertex but it is perpendicular to the opposite side. And then lastly, based on our new altitude, we get that puppy. Perpendicular, 
but passing through the vertex. What can you tell me about the purple and the green line? They're parallel. Perfect, they're parallel, which means they have the same slope, which means you can save yourself some hassles if you have to do a lot of calculations. Okay, so let's dive into an example then. Okay, we've got A, B, and C. A is at 3, 2. B is at negative 7, 12. And C is at 1, 14. What I find the simplest tool to use here is to make sure you understand your definitions. So if I'm looking for an ortho center, I need an altitude. An altitude goes from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. It's going to look something like this. And again, staying with my color coding, I'm now going to use yellow to calculate the equation of that altitude. I find the ortho center to be the easiest one to do. That's just my personal opinion. You might find differently. Okay. Again, this point is not relevant in our calculation, so we're going to ignore that. What I need is a slope. And by definition, that yellow line is perpendicular to the blue line. So I'm going to start by finding the slope of BC. That's the opposite side from the vertex A. So that gives me 14 minus 12 over 1 minus negative 7, which is 2 over 8, which is 1 fourth. If I did my math correctly. 2 over 1 minus negative 7, 8. Ah, okay, good. Therefore, the slope of the perpendicular there is negative 4. Questions so far? Going once, going twice, sold. Good. Again, two things we need for the equation of a line, a point and a slope. I have a slope, I need a point. Well, if I look at my picture, I know the point, the point is A. Not calculating any midpoints, not needed. Y minus two is equal to negative four times X minus three. Or if you prefer, y is equal to negative 4x plus 14. Okay, and I'm going to put a rectangle around that because I would need that later to find the orthocenter. Questions? Outstanding. Okay, so following the same procedure we've used all, hold on, sorry, I forgot something. Quick side note, let's talk about the centroid. Some of you may have used the Google and found out that there is an easy method to find the centroid and the answer is there is. If you wanna check your centroid calculations, you can just take the average of the X's and averages of the Y's. Add them up, divide by three. However, I still want to see the calculations. I would use that as a method to check your answer, but that's not what I want to see. I want to see algebra. Knowing that, however, what you should keep in mind is that your answers for centroid problems and centroid problems only, your coordinates will either have a denominator of one or a denominator of three. No other options, if you've done it correctly. Okay, so getting back to the ortho center. In your breakout rooms, you're gonna finish this problem. 
for reference sake here, let me draw in the other lines. Uh, let's see, we'll have this, we've done that already, so let's do green. We'll have this green line. That's one of them. And then the last one we'll use, uh, what color do we want here? Let's go with pink. And the last line for pink will look something like this. Off a little bit, drag that over there, cheat. Okay. So in your group, you're going to find either the equation of the green line or the equation of the purple, sorry, that's pink, pink line, and then take that information and find the ortho center.